Hi everyone, my name is Lisa and I have a pretty amazing Ravensburger collection. I have almost 3,000 puzzles I believe and today I'm going to show you a bunch of Christmas puzzles by Ravensburger. And as you can see that might be a long video because I have I believe 36 of them behind me and there are actually more that I couldn't pull out out of my closet. So we're going to start with those and I'm going to add at the end of the video the ones that I did not pull out. Uh, so let's start. This one is called Countdown to Christmas. It's by David Krustkamp and it's from 2018 and it's actually really beautiful. One of the hardest ones to get in my opinion. Then we have this one. It's called Winter Wonderland. That one is by Gerald Como. He didn't actually do a lot of Christmas puzzles. Uh, but this one is from 2010. And as you can see, it's probably pretty tough to do. It's not an easy one. Now we have this one. This one is called Santa's Christmas Supper. And this is by Roy Trower. It's from 2009. Roy Trower is actually a person that did lots and lots of Christmas puzzles for Ravensburger. So you'd see this name coming back again and again and again. And now we have this one, it's called The Christmas Farm. This one is also by Roy Trower and it's from 2012. And it's really cute. Again, most of those are not as easy as they look. They are actually quite tough to do, but all of them are beautiful. This one is called Snowy Day. It's from 2011. And this one doesn't actually have a name attached to it. I guess, again, it's very hard because it's a painting, so it's probably not easy to do, but gonna be ending up beautiful. And then this one is called Which Way Is Which Way Santa? Uh, this one is by Roy Trower again, and it's from 2011. And you'd see another one that has a very similar name to it very soon. Here we have one that's called The Christmas Shop. This one is also by Roy Trower and it's also from 2012. And this one, in my opinion, is easier than the other ones because it has a bunch of other color in addition to just red and white. Now, this one here is called Santa's Arrival and it's from 2010. And it's by George Schrimmer, uh, which is an artist that I haven't seen a lot. You can see the Santa looks very different than the Roy Trower one. Uh, so actually, like, it's fun to do a puzzle that is not the same like the other ones. This one is really interesting. It's called Santa and Rudolph. And this one is a what-if puzzle. So it has a twist to it because actually it's not going to look like the picture here. Uh, and again, it's more kind of like fun comics kind of thing. It's by Jeff Tristram, I believe, who did uh, all of those puzzles. Uh, let me just confirm for a second. Uh, no, George, Jeff Tristram, yes. Uh, so basically this one again is gonna be fun and probably just a little bit easier because of all the color here at the bottom. And we'll see another one by him later. Uh, this one here, is called Ideal Christmas. It's by Debbie Cook and it's from 2013. And again, it's not actually the usual stuff because the artist is different, so the people are different and kind of like the, the art is different. Uh, this one here is called Santa Needs Directions. So as you can see, Santa here is looking for directions. And uh, this one is actually by Roy Trower from 2013. This one here is one of my favorites. It's called the Santa Express. And this one is also by Roy Trower. It's also from 2013. And again, I think it's a little bit easier because there is a bunch of coats in different colors and stuff. There's still a lot of green and a lot of white, but overall I think the text here is going to make it a little bit easier. And the train here is probably going to make it a little bit easier. And overall I think it's like very, very cute. You can see all of them say limited edition because that's basically the Christmas are always limited edition, so they don't actually create them beyond the time that they are doing this part. 
And now we have another one. It's called Santa's Final Preparations. Uh, this one is also by Roy Trower and it's from 2015. And again, it's like more people in it. You'd see some more with more village type of stuff in it. So the new ones are actually having a lot of other stuff. But this is a very busy puzzle. So I don't think it's going to be super easy to do. Some of those we've seen actually are going to be probably easier than that. And this one is a really cute one. It's called uh, Christmas on Pet Street. It's by Natural Design and it's from 2017. And as you can see, there's a bunch of cats and dogs uh, around here, basically kind of like that's their street and it's really, really cute. Um, and that one I think is one of the ones that are easier to get. Um, and overall, again, it's very cute. It's very unique. It's very nice. This one, I told you before, uh, it's called Which One Santa? The previous one was Which Way Santa, which is a different one. This one is by Roy Trower. It's from 2017, and it's limited edition, of course, and basically, it's even kind of content here. Uh, there are much older ones, actually, but this one is more of like the village type, so I believe that one is actually not going to be as easy as you might think that it's going to be. Uh, then we have this one. Uh, this one is also a village type of thing. It's called the Christmas Village, actually. It's from, by Road Trowers, and it's from 2004. So it's a very old puzzle. A lot of his older ones actually look like that, more of like a village and a square, and then people, like kids, are uh, basically uh, skiing around, and uh, Santa is basically staying here. So you'd see a lot of those things actually like happening, and people kind of selling food around. Uh, so you, you can find those. In most cases, there is actually like a secret thing that they hide a Ravensburger uh, shop in it as well. So it's not always happening, but you shouldn't be surprised that either in Santa's bag or in some of those places here, there might be actually a Ravensburger puzzle that is inside the puzzle being sold or gifted. This one, probably one of the more challenging ones, called... Uh, it's called White Christmas. This one is by Rolf Bunz, which is a different person that actually I've never seen any puzzles by him except this one. It's from 2007. I believe the white here is going to be quite the challenge. So there is not a lot of color here except maybe this tiny part over here. Uh, that's going to be probably maybe fun to put together, maybe a little bit frustrating. So if you're ready for a challenge, but this one is pretty hard to get, so... And then there is this one. It's called the Christmas Market. Uh, this one is also by Roy Trower from 2007. And you can see again that it's kind of like more uh, of a village with again the square in the middle and like a bunch of people uh, doing stuff in the middle. I can try to actually detect if there is a Ravensburger thing here. Here. Just right here. I don't know if you can see that. But I can attach a link to the photo so you can actually see that closer. But again, most of the time, that's exactly what's here. There will be a Ravensburger, kind of like a Easter egg in, in the puzzle. This one is called Santa's Christmas List. You see he has quite the list here. Uh, this is also one of my most favorite uh, pictures. And this one is by Roy Trower from 2008. And again, very beautiful picture. Uh, and again, Roy Trower, because he's basically like the Christmas artist. This one is called Santa's Cot. Uh, that was actually really fun to do together. It's by Simon Mendes. It's from 2011. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's again, very different because the artist is different. The art is different. You can see the kids kind of like picking at Santa over here. And Santa is like kind of like tired. So he, he's just sitting next to the presents and... Uh, again, it was actually not a hard puzzle to do at all. And this is called, um, this is called, uh, The Christmas in the Square. This one is by Victor McClendon and it's from 2019. And you can see again that the art is very, very different than the other ones we've seen so far, uh, just because it's a different artist and... This one was not easy because all of those windows might look to you easy, but actually they're pretty, pretty hard. I did it with my friend and she really struggled with those windows. 
and uh, was happy to be done with that. But overall, again, it's a beautiful puzzle. And by the way, I hope this video looks fine because it's my first video, so I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. So I'm just going to try. This one is called Joy of Christmas. It's a Freud Trauer. It's from 2012. And again, you'd see like normal stuff that happens here. So you have things like the, the village and the, and the square. And there is, of course, the Ravensburger uh, being sold here in one of those places here. So again, it's like super cute, ice skating, pretty nice. This one is called Home for Christmas, and it's by Roy Trower from 2019, and I think this is, again, a beautiful picture. I love this guy. I really, really enjoy doing this guy. It's like a really fun stuff. Uh, overall, really cute puzzle. And then this one, we've seen what if before, but this one is a different one. It's called Office Christmas Party, and this is also by George Tristram, Jeff Tristram. Uh, and he's doing like a collection called Best of British, which is again kind of like a comic, fun, more kind of like interesting stuff. And basically here uh, you can see that it's not the normal Christmas puzzle, but it's actually a really fun one. So if you want to get one of those, that would be like a twist on like a Christmas thing. And now we are going to go to... I think the newest puzzle of all, it's called The Christmas House. It's by Roy Trower, very surprising. It's from 2021. And that one is actually very different than the normal Roy Trower. You can see also that actually there is a bit more of different ethnicities inside, which is something they, he does that sometimes actually. Um, I'll, I'll post another puzzle that's called uh, Sunset's Visit. Uh, which he had that as well, but this one is actually really cool, kind of different than the usual. I'm planning to do that one really soon. And this one is called Saint Christmas is Coming. Uh, this one is also by Roy Trowers. It's from 2020, and you can see that it's very different than the normal stuff. It's basically like a collage of like a lot of Christmas pieces, uh, probably a collage of a bunch of Christmas puzzles that he did in the past. Um, not exactly, but there is kind of bits and pieces from like other puzzles that it looks like. So overall, super cool, super cute puzzle. This one is extremely different. It's called Christmas Villa. And this one is by Ute Tennyson, which I hope I'm actually pronouncing the name correctly, from 2020. Uh, that is, uh, let's say, uh, Ute is doing very different puzzles than like the usual ones. So if you're into dark and kind of like more entertaining things, you are welcome to try that out, but it's not going to be the easiest. This one is called Packing the Sleigh. It's by Liz, Liz Dillon. It's from 2019. And I hope you don't get too much reflection when I'm trying to show you that thing. Uh, but again, it's like a very different art, very different artist. I hope you can see that because of glare that might be happening here on the new puzzle. This one is a very old puzzle. It's called The Christmas Fair. And it's actually from 2006 and very surprisingly by Roy Trowers. As you can see, village, square, kids ice skating, kind of like similar things to before. So if you're going to do all of those puzzles, you might get bored at some point, but if you keep some of them for next year, it's probably going to be fine. And then we have another very unique one. This one is just called Santa Claus. And this is actually very surprisingly by Ute Tennyson, who we've seen before from 2005. And that is, again, something that happened less, in my opinion, because like most of them are Roy Trowers, but it's fun to see actually like different puzzles by different artists for the same topic. And then we have this one, which is called Snowy Village. And this is by Barbara Bear from 2018. She actually did another one, which is called Christmas Wishes, which I will post separately because I couldn't get it out from my closet. Um, but this one is kind of like reminding some of the things with the village, but you can see the cars and kind of like the art is different. So overall fun, different kind of puzzle. She's more classic in my opinion with like the faces being kind of like more old fashioned, but really, um, uh, more real looking. 
And then we are gonna go for a few 500s now. So this one is called Merry Christmas. It's 500 pieces. It's one of the selfies collection. It's really fun. I just did it today. It's really, really cute. And this one, I'm sure a lot of people know it. It's called en Enchanted Christmas. It's by Demelsa Houghton, which is really, really one of the hottest like artists for Ravensburger for this year. Uh, from 2021, I'm planning to do that really soon, maybe tomorrow. Uh, and overall, super cute. Uh, Demelsa is really like one of the most known artists lately. And she has those cute animals that are doing stuff and really cute and cool and unique style for puzzling. She did um, Halloween puzzle, so if you didn't do that one, maybe you want to get it too. Uh, this one is called The Christmas House. It's also 500 pieces. It's by Stiff Crisp, and it's from 2017. And this one, again, it's like actually really cute. I did it two days ago, I think, and I'm actually doing a lot of Christmas puzzles right now, as you can guess. Uh, and if you want to see my puzzles, by the way, you can see them on my Instagram by Puzzled by Puzzles by Lisa. I'm doing lots of puzzles and taking pretty cool pictures of them and doing um, a time lapse for each one. Okay, and then here is the next one. It's called Christmas Songbirds. And this was uh, by Ingrid Slider and it's from 2021. And I actually just did it yesterday and I really highly recommend uh, this puzzle specifically because it was really cute. And I don't look at the box, so... I actually started with this part here and then actually did the other parts, but I didn't know how it's going to look. So it was really nice to figure that out. And not last yet, but this one is a Jolini puzzle. It's called Wild Christmas. And I have no clue how to pronounce the name of the artist. I think it's like Jorg Zaradanichak or something like that. I Forgive me if I'm wrong. But those are really cute Jellinis, and all, I will do another video on all the Jellini puzzles if you want. Uh, but specifically, this one is really hard to get, really, really expensive lately, unfortunately. And that one, I really hope to do that during December. And then I have two that are not really considered Christmas puzzles, but I think they are totally Christmas puzzles. So that's called the Snowman and the Snow Dog. And they actually had only two puzzles being created by... Uh, that brand in the past, like Ravensburger and the snowman and the snow dog actually like work together. So there is one where the snowman is flying with the snow dog. And there is that second one, which the snowman is walking with the snow dog. And um, those are very exciting puzzles. And they don't say anything about Christmas specifically, but you've seen Santa and the other one and like snowman and Christmas tree makes it kind of reasonable that this is a Christmas puzzle, even though it doesn't say Christmas limited edition, exactly like all the other Ravensburger is saying. Um, but overall, that would be it. So basically, this is everything that I have outside. 